I know it's hard to hear, but it's the simple truth. While we've had our successes, McCarran's armored cavalry still has four full regiments of troops on Sarna. It's a simple numbers game. The reality is we don't have enough forces to come out ahead. Even with the Crater Cobras and Screaming Eagles, we need reinforcements. And with the system's HPG down, the only way that we can ever hope of getting them is if we get a message back to Davion Command through a buried message by jump ship. Bringing down these ECM arrays is our only chance of doing that. I'm not exaggerating when I say that this time, all our lives are depending on this. So good luck, Commander. New target, Spider. Acquired. That was a transmission on the AFFC's command line. The first one since we've arrived at Sarna. I can't make out anything in it, but destroying the other ECM towers might allow us to hear the broadcast. Keep it up, Commander. Destroy. the ECM installations. We don't have the numbers to fight through them. We need those towers destroyed so we can find a gap in their lines. We fought too long and too hard for this to be our end.
The message is getting clearer, but we still can't make out any discernible information. We need to destroy those remaining ECM towers. Commander, our tactical projections are not good. The only way we can break through McCarran's forces is if we abandon our wounded. That is not something I'm willing to do. We're preparing to make our last stand. Finish the mission, Commander. Then get as far away from us as possible. Regroup with Captain Damu. Get a message back to Davy in command. Survive. Colonel Westrake, I'm sorry we couldn't do more. It's okay. It's the part of the job that all of us mercenaries must accept at some point. Today, it's just my time. of the Federated Suns. We have reached Sarna's atmosphere and are available to reinforce on your position. Is anyone out there? Please respond. Again, this is Arden Sortek. Colonel Sortek, 
This is Colonel Richard Westrick with the Crater Cobras. My God, is it good to hear your voice. The Crater Cobras and the Screaming Eagles are pinned down 50 clicks east of the city of Catatonia along the coast. We estimate that the Big Mac will have us completely surrounded in three hours. Transmitting exact coordinates now. Coordinates received. We're preparing an orbital mech drop to reinforce your position. Hold fast, Colonel. Help is here. This is Captain Elena Damu with the survivors of the 5th Sirtis Fusiliers. We don't have much left, but we are moving to assist. ETA, two hours. Looks like our salvation is here, Commander. I've marked a new exfil site on your map. Let's get out of here and join the others. This is it, everyone. Colonel Sortek is on the verge of making planetfall and is en route to our position. McCarrens knows that if we successfully relink with the Davian heavy gore, so they're gonna throw everything they have at us trying to put us in the ground before Colonel Sortek's reinforcements arrive. We've spent the past six months in hell, cowering and sulking in the shadow of those bastards, trying to survive against unprecedented circumstances. No dropship support, no air support, no way of communicating with the jump point. Hell, we even made it by with no HPG completely blind to the rest of the inner sphere. We made it through all of that. But today, finally, we can stand tall against these Capellan bastards. Today is a day of retribution. Today we are finally taking the fight to them. Fusiliers. I'm not one for speeches as eloquent as our mercenary friends. We have been struggling to survive since the Grey River ran red with the blood of our fallen brothers and sisters. Just remember, they're still here. They're watching over us. And today, God willing, we will avenge their deaths. For new Sirtis, for House Hasek. We have contacts. Dead ahead. All forces fire at will. Stay in cover and support one another. Don't let them spill one more ounce of Cobra's blood today! Commander, Colonel Westrick is right about one thing. The McCarran's forces will be relentless. 
there's no telling when the Davion heavy guards will make it to the field. So we need to support one another if we're going to make it out of this alive. Tread carefully, Commander. across a wide area. We are reforming our lances and about to move on your position now. ETA, two minutes. Hold out just a little longer. Target destroyed.
Leon Heavy Guards are here to assist. It's time to take the fight to McCarran's armored cavalry. So thank you, Commander. One last push, and then it's over. Let's finish this. Incoming missile. us all those months ago. I have no doubt in my mind that we would have died like the rest of our brothers and sisters in the fifth. We'll never forget what you did for us. Likewise, Captain. Without you, we would never have been able to complete our mission for the Kestrel Lancers. Now let's all fall back in with the heavy guards and finally get some R&R. &R. It's been one hell of a campaign. Sons, give them no quarter. For months, these wolves have hunted you like prey lost in the woods. But now, you have a chance to defang McCarran's armored cavalry once and for all. For the fallen! For the fifth Certus Fusiliers! Uh, did I just hear that right? McCarran's forces are withdrawing. Is there really a need to run them down? We're still at war, Fahad. The Federated Sons will want to ensure that an elite unit such as McCarran's is crippled as much as possible to put all of House Liao in a position of vulnerability in the future. I also imagine compassion and reason are the last things on the minds of everyone that went through the last six months of hell at the hands of the Armored Cavalry. For better or worse, we still have our orders. Let's help clear the field and see this battle through.